Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of the videos I'm so, so excited about. This palette I didn't even see coming. I thought Pat McGrath was good. She released three palettes at one time. I was still recovering from that purchase. And then she announced Mothership 4 and I'm like, girl, slow down. Stop it, please. <laughs> but of course, I had to pick it up because I'm a sucker for Pat McGrath Labs palettes and so of course I bought it. You guys know I have the first three if you're interested. I did a swatch party video as well as a review video. I will link those up in the cards for you guys to check out. Now I want to get into swatches but few channel reminders. I do upload every other day so you do get a ton of content from me. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I just hit 8,000 subscribers, guys, so I'm so, so excited. And I was on line to get kicked out of the YouTube Partner Program, but once I hit the 1,000 subscribers, I already had the hours, the watch time, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get to stay in the Partner Program. If I have any more updates from when I filmed this video, I will fill you guys in, but I just wanna say thank you so much to all of my subscribers. We may be few, but you guys are in full force. You're watching my videos to the end, it seems like. So I really, really freaking appreciate it, guys. Thank you so, so much. And you know I'm going to have a giveaway coming up for you in the month of February. Plus, it's Valentine's Day, so we can get romantic on my channel. That's weird. Forget that. Scratch that. We're not going to get romantic um, in a weird way. But... I know you guys are dying to see swatches of this new Pat McGrath Labs palette, so let's get into it. Really quick, disclaimer, this is not a review video. This is just a swatch party. It's supposed to be fun. I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do with your lives, but usually I can swatch a palette and tell you if I'm going to like it or not. I mean, like a good 90% of the time. Sometimes I swatch something and I love it, and then I try it on my eyes and it's a freaking disaster. Or vice versa. So... I'm just doing this so you guys can see the colors, maybe see it on my skin tone, see if this is something you're going to like or not, but it's not that serious. I get comments every once in a while saying, like, you need to learn how to swatch. Fair enough. I don't do, like, the most professional swatches, but my swatches are live, real time, so they're real swatches. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Take what you will, but that's my opinion. So this is what the packaging looks like. She went with the exact same packaging as her last three palettes, which... I saw somebody kind of mention that that's kind of hard because you can't tell the palettes apart, which is totally true. Uh, totally a valid point for a $125 eyeshadow palette. It should be easier to tell the difference between each of them. But it's also a luxury line, so there's probably like some kind of style reason that it is that way. Plus you could store it in the packaging, so that will be an easy way to tell them apart if you wanted to. But I love how she did like this crown inspired packaging and it's the same like detail as last time and this is very heavy so if you guys ever pick one of these up you you know the hype is real also she didn't put the shades on the palette again so you do get this card uh i don't really know do you guys care i guess i can put the names on the screen while i'm swatching hopefully that'll help you guys out are you guys ready to see it are you ready Here we go guys, this is what the palette looks like, and yeah, I don't know, are they repeat shades? Uh, we'll have to see, let me just quickly open up and take a look and see, I don't think she did any repeat shades, let's see, I'll hold them up, you guys can decide, so this is one, oh god, these are so heavy. This is the one of the originals that she came out with. This is my least favorite Pat McGrath palette, but I do love this shade right here in the corner. Beautiful, like, duochrome amazingness. This is one of my favorites. So I don't feel like they look the same. I mean, this has a gold shade in it, but it's, like, more of a metallic gold. This one looks more of, like, a satin gold shade. And then this is my next favorite palette because I love like the berries in here and that uh, color right here. What is it called? Like a chartreuse color. Super stunning. So that's a little hold up comparison. I don't think there's any repeat shades, which thank God. So let's swatch the first row. Mm. I'm just swirling my fingertips 
in the palette just to pick up some good pigmentation. Ooh, oh God. So this is the first row here, finger swatches. This yellow gold is stunning, stunning. Oh God, this is, oh my gosh. This is so pretty, <gasps> you guys. This gold shade right here is like a true gold, like a champagne gold. Ah, it's so freaking pretty. Oh my God, Betty. <gasps> so pretty. I cannot wait to play with these. I'm so excited and also kind of bummed because these are all metallics, which is nice because she did repeat a lot of her mattes in her other palette. On, in her other palettes, like they all had like a black and a brown, I believe. So I was like, shit. But it was nice because if you didn't buy all the palettes, you still had some good like matte shades to create looks. But in this one, she went all metallic and this first row is stunning. So let's swatch the second row. I'm just gonna swirl my finger around. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my God, this orange has, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's swatch. So the silver shade, we've got, a, oh my God, did you see that? That was one swipe, one swipe, one swipe. Ah! You guys, whether you wait for the VIB sale or you get this now, it's not going to disappoint you. This shade has like a flip. It's like a yellow flip. Like every time I turn my, oh my God, I wish I could capture that on camera, but it, it definitely has like a yellow undertone. It's so cool. This teal, oh my God, this teal is beautiful. It's like butter. I'm going to be testing this palette out. This is the one I'm going to test first because I recently bought a bunch of palettes and I'm like, oh, sometimes I just get so overwhelmed because I so buy so many palettes. I'm like, which palette am I going to test out first? Well, Pat McGrath just fucking slayed my existence. So that's the palette I'm going to be trying out first. And okay, guys, get one more look. I'm in pure heaven. These are stunning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really quick, but that's how my swatch parties go. Don't forget to subscribe down below because you know there's going to be a full review coming for this palette as soon as I can get it tested out for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your week and thank you so much for watching. Bye!